Ever fantasize about quitting your job, saying goodbye to your daily routine, and sailing off into the sunset? Our next guest did just that. In 2014, Eric and Emily Orton packed up their five kids, left their home, and set sail for a year-long adventure on the open sea. The Ortons write about their excursion in their new book, Seven at Sea. Please welcome Eric and Emily Orton and their children, Eli, SJ, and Lily. How are we doing, y'all? Doing great, thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks y'all for coming and seeing us. We were us. laughing about the story in a sense because you guys came from New York City and decided to sail off, and the boat is bigger than your apartment in New York City. Is that correct? <laughs> that is true. That is true. insane. So whose idea was this? I think it started with Eric, for sure. I'll mm -hmm. take credit for that. Yeah, in 2008, I uh, was producing an off-Broadway show, and it went belly up, and it was really discouraging and embarrassing. And so I kind of wanted to just disappear, and so I left the theater industry and took a night job working down at a bank in yeah. the financial districts. And I would have these dinner breaks where I'd go walk along the Hudson River and watch the sunset and see these boats going up and Numb down. Down by the seaport. Yeah. Yeah. It just seemed beautiful and peaceful, and that's right. and something that I needed more of in my life at that time. And so... Did you know how to sail? No, I didn't, but there was a sailing school right downstairs from us. How convenient. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's meant to be. Yeah, so I encouraged him to just go get some more information, maybe take some classes, and to get a daytime class, he had to get four people together. And the four people ended up being one, two, and our two oldest daughters, who were oh, 11 wow. and nine at the time. So it was a family affair, that's cool. I love yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. It was a good time, and after the class was over, um, Eric said, let's try it out, going without an instructor, just rent a boat, so we went to Tom's River, New Jersey. Nice. And we got on this boat, and it was the first time these three kids were able to join us. And Lily wasn't even sitting up yet. We got out there, and the other people on the river and their jet skis and motorboats were actually pointing and laughing at us. And we were just kind of bobbling around and screaming. <laughs> and we figured it out. We got back, and Sarah Jane said, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to yeah. be. What did your friends and family think about it? I don't think any of them took us very seriously when we first started talking about the idea you know, we, we spent a long time preparing for the trip. And, and right. so eventually, they came around to believing us. And I think my parents ultimately believed us when they drove us to the airport and dropped us off to go fly to meet up yeah. with our sailboat. Right. And you said, who, whose idea was it to, like, live, to get rid of the apartment and live on the boat with seven people? Well, this was actually one of my favorite moments in our whole story, because we were just sitting around our house, two bedrooms, one bath, but everyone was, like, reading or playing a game. And he just came and he said, you know, I think... The seven of us on a boat would be enough universe for me. And I'm like, well, it's a nice beautiful. boat. It's a really nice boat. It's a much better view than New York City right there. <laughs> what is that like when you have like because you have to have supplies enough for seven people at all times? What's it like? Do you just are you just constantly shopping? Uh, we like to call it provisioning, and I like to go every two weeks, or we know we're gonna be out for a while between when we might have another grocery opportunity. And everywhere there's people, there's food. So uh -huh. that's not a problem. But yeah, we just buy it, we put it in our little boat, then we sail it out to this, the big boat, and then um, stuff it into the, under the beds yeah. and under the couches and find And the islands are so it. great. I find that all the locals are so friendly and eager to show you around and go out fishing and... That's, one, just... thing that we, that's one thing that we learned while we were out there is that there are great people everywhere. We everywhere. never had to look very far to find a friendly face and someone right. willing to help us out, Definitely. for sure. How old are you guys? Are you guys are you teenagers? I'm 17. I am 13. I'm so you, 11. So you have, you have technically teenagers right now. What are the living quarters like? Because I know you need your privacy as a teenager, and you have two other kids as well. What are the living quarters like? Well, on the boat, we had four cabins. This was the cabin that Emily and I shared. Eli and Lily shared a room. Sarah. That must have been fun. Yeah, right across from us, so I could <laughs> hear. Yeah. Did you like sharing with Lily? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then Sarah Jane shared a, a cabin with our oldest daughter, Karina. And Miss Lily, your middle name is Ocean. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Very fitting. Yes, yeah. Beautiful. Do people recognize you when they've sailed by you? Do they see you as a family that, 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 you know, you guys document your trips and your travels? I think people have recognized the boat. We've since um, sold the boat, and another family loved the story and wanted to kind of carry on that family relationship building yeah. tradition. They kept the name of the boat, yeah. They, they kept the name of the boat. It was Fezziwig. And um, so sometimes people will let us know by Aww. Facebook or social media, like, hey, we saw your boat in Grenada or in the Bahamas or nice. somewhere else. It's, yeah, absolutely. So keeping tabs, yeah. Kids, what was this journey like for y'all? I did not I did not want to go at first. 
Uh -huh. I had friends in New York, and there was a boy that I liked. Uh-oh. And... It's always that boy that'll get in the way. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. And I did not, so I didn't want to go. And I was pretty upset at first, but it didn't take too long. After right. being in the Caribbean, I know. not being upset about it. So. Yeah, take us next time. <laughs> and you wrote a book about your experience? Yes, we did. We had a great experience writing it, and it was a, a great opportunity to, for us to revisit what happened to us, what we yeah. experienced, and really kind of pull it together and, and wrap our heads around it. And hopefully give a little inspiration and courage to other families, because a lot of times you feel like, well, I can't do this because I have these children or these right. responsibilities. So this sort of talks about how we manage having big responsibilities and this big idea and how it you know, bless our family. So yeah. we and hope it'll even get closer together, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Spending that much concentrated time together. I see yeah. a movie. I see a movie. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> right? Jeff Bridges. Matt Damon. Matt, Matt Damon, Damon, right? Yeah, Matt Damon. I'm looking he at loves, you. He loves being in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Orton family. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We look forward to hearing about your next adventure. Good luck on the book and everything. Thank you. Definitely. Yeah. We'll be right back.